Perfect. Okay, we'll get going then. So thanks everybody for joining. My name's Dale and I'm one of the founders of In Touch. Today I want to show you what we've got to offer, but first I want to explain a little bit more about In Touch and why I'm here today. So In Touch was built when myself and my husband bought a house several years ago. And um, to put it politely, the whole process just drove us crazy. Um, two properties fell through, the fixtures and fittings form got lost and the constant chasing was just soul destroying. So luckily my husband, he's a software engineer. He went to the conveyancer that we use and he had an idea and essentially it was a task list. And he said, why don't you just have a task list? When you tick it off, it's going to update the client. It's going to reduce those progress chasing phone calls and then they're going to know what's going on. She thought, yep, great idea. But then we quickly realized that there's a lot more to convincing than just ticking off tasks. So several years, gray hairs and iterations later, we've evolved into a full blown convincing case management system. Um, this allows property lawyers to complete a transaction all the way through from quote to completion. And today I'm gonna to give you a little idea of what that might look like for you guys. So what our goal is to improve communication, automation and transparency in property transactions. So what does InTouch offer? Everything that you can expect from a case management system and more. So we have an inbuilt quotation calculator. We have online forms. We have document generation. We've got electronic signatures. We have the all important third party integrations, which we're going to show you with TM Group today. We have client accounts. And then we also have our stakeholder portal. So the whole reason why InTouch exists. So let's start with how a client can contact you. So all our forms and completion tools are built into InTouch. So there's no third party involved here. You can use our software. And these will auto-populate into InTouch for you. But, sorry. These will all auto-populate into InTouch for you. So the screen we've got up here is a contact us form. So does anyone have one of these on their website? And if you don't, how does a client get in contact with you when the office is closed? The beauty of this contact form is it's completely configurable. You can ask whatever client questions you want to, and it will all pull through into in touch. So you'll get notified in the morning of any new contacts. We also have a quotation calculator. So this is a great way of giving a client an estimation of your charges. So all your client needs to do is answer the configurable questions that you've set. This is completely configurable and it's out the box. So how you design this form will be completely different to how the firm down the road has one. All the client needs to do is fill it in and then all the fees are outputted. So this tool can be used on your website, but it can also be used internally as well. So if someone rings up for a quote, you and all of your staff members are then able to give a quote. And then thirdly, if you do work with any referrers or any introducers, they can also quote on your behalf as well. You'll notice there's a question mark section here as well. And this is where you guys can go into town. You can really explain to your clients what a legal fee is, what it, what it means, who's getting the money. Quite often when they look at this fee at the bottom here, they literally see a big amount and they think you're making that money. They don't understand that a lot of these are third party disbursements and you're not gonna make that money. So it's a great way of starting that transparency journey. But once this is, the quotation calculator has been filled in, you'll be taking to the matter inside of InTouch. So this is your homepage of InTouch. This is where you can easily see the matters which have been created and which ones need action taken. So you can see John is at the top and that's because we've just given him a quote. You've also got Leon, oh sorry, went too fast. You've also got Leon who's in red and that's basically saying the client care pack is waiting return. And then you've got James who is yellow and that's because the completion day is within five days. And you can configure all of these alerts inside of InTouch. So you never forget anything. Traffic lights can be set up to remind you of what actions need to be taken next. And alerts can be triggered to ensure you never forget any important dates. So this is your to-do list. Now I've clicked on John's matter and I can see all of the information relating to the matter. So on the left-hand side, you can see the stakeholders involved in the transaction. And that will populate as you progress through the transaction. And then to the right of the screen, you can see the workflow. But what's important here is you can now see that my accounts tab has been auto populated from the fees that we estimated from completing the quotation calculator. So you'll never forget to um, charge for those fees. Within the accounts, accounts tab here, I can immediately see everything that was estimated on the quote calculator. I'm not having to type anything in again. 
I'm not having to rely on um, myself typing in this information and causing any errors. It's all coming through automatically for me and I will never forget to charge those fees. And now I'm gonna take you to the folder tab. Here's where every correspondence is stored. So this is your compliance center and your audit history. So highlighted here is the email which was sent to John after the quotation calculator was completed. And this is what the email could look like for you. So all emails will be sent from your email domain and they can be easily configured to contain your marketing information. So if you usually send out your client care pack at this stage, that can absolutely be attached. If you send out further information on the services that you offer, that can be attached as well. If you have more information in your quote email, that can be configured as well. But most importantly, at the bottom here, you've got a call to action at the bottom of the email. So John can instruct you by clicking on the let's get moving button. So I've clicked on that button and now John's invited to complete an instruction form. This is an online dynamic form, again, completely configurable. And this is automated and it allows John to provide you with all the information, all the information that you need to start working on his property transaction. So we've got property details. We've got the primary purchaser contact details. We've got the correspondence address. We've got an estate agent details. We've got mortgage information, and then we've got a signature. If there was two people involved in this transaction, it would know it, and it would then show a number three asking for the secondary purchaser's contact details. So they're really dynamic as well. So once John's filled in all of that information, you can see that it's all been populated back onto the matter of in touch for you. So again, re reducing any data entry. And the fee owner on the matter has been alerted to the fact that a form has been filled in, so you can see a nice um, alert at the top here. And a hard copy will always be saved to the matter as well. So you get an audit history of the questions asked and the answers that were given. You can also he see here, you've got further audit history because the task is auto populated on the workflow, letting me know exactly when John completed the form. So you'll get his email address there, the time and the date that he filled it in. Now, if I go back within the folder tab, I can view and send out any further correspondence. Again, when any correspondence is carried out, it can be found here under the folder tab. And you'll also notice this new action. This allows you to undertake other activities. And what we're gonna do here is add a note with a mention to let our other teammates know further action needs undertaken on the matter. So I've added an at symbol here, all of the staff members on in touch show up for me, and then I can pop a matter in here and Jane Matthews is gonna get an alert letting her know that something needs continuing on the matter. So it's a great way of communicating within a team. But I've just headed back to the workflow here and I'm gonna generate a document and send it for signature. You'll notice there's an alert on the matter in the top left-hand corner here. And this is our traffic lights. So it's basically saying, get on with the client care pack because instructions were confirmed a couple of days ago. So upon clicking this action here, you'll then be able to create your client care letter and it can open up in Microsoft Word or as a PDF. So we integrate with Microsoft Word, which means by selecting this button on the ribbon, the document will auto attach back to the matter for you. And we, when we set you up with inside of InTouch, we configure all of your letters so data stored on the matter is automatically pulled through for you. So it saves you ha never having to type out the same information over and over again. So now I'm back on the matter and I want my client to sign the document. So as I mentioned earlier, we provide e-signatures. So we don't use a third party for this. This is all inbuilt through InTouch. So I'm gonna create, select the create signature request option here. And an email is gonna get sent out to the client asking her to sign it. And when she signs it, you'll get an audit history of the client signing it, and you'll also get an alert and a copy saved back to the matter on InTouch for you as well. So again, you'll get every action that you carry out within InTouch, you'll get in that audit history. And you can also report on all of this through our report suite here as well. So you can really get an understanding of how efficient your staff are working and at what point things slow down and get an understanding of exactly how your firm is working. So I've just moved down the workflow here this workflow is completely configurable, but the next milestone that I want to show you is how you can generate a completion statement and invoice. So we've got two tasks set up here, and you literally just need to click the 
um, option here, and it will easily calculate the amount owed or due to your client because all of that data is in in touch and it's come through from the quote calculator and it will populate for you there. So what I want to touch on now is the stakeholder portal. So the whole reason why in touch exists and our first idea. Transparency and education are key to great customer service and in touch takes care of this on your behalf by inviting your client into a portal. And the portal looks a little bit like this. Now we will all be branded as your law firm. So where it says in touch, it will have your logo and it can have your color scheme on there as well. So the, the portal provides configurable information which keeps your client happy and up to date. So they get a percentage wheel of how much is completed on the property. They get to see key stakeholder information and then they get to see the milestones that you wish to share with them here as well. And then continuing on the education journey here, when you select the question mark with inside of the portal, your client's immediately educated on what each task means and you can really set realistic timeframes here. Explain the work that you guys are doing behind the scenes and what you're undertaking on their behalf. So it's perfect, again, for separating yourselves from the rest of the market by really explaining to your client what you guys are doing. So what I want to finish up with is how you can order your searches through TM Group. So through our integration, you'll be able to access TM Group through two places. So you can have it within your workflow here. You just need to select order searches or within your services tab here, you'll find the TM Group option. When you select TM Group, it will launch their platform. It's gonna automatically pull through the address for you. So again, reducing that data entry, and then you're then able to um, order your searches. So we'll hand over to Rebecca here just to enter a bit more detail about um, this platform. Thank you, Dale. Um, I just wanted to say, I always find it so impressive when you do your presentations, just with how much you've built internally. So um, thank you for going through that. Um, so yes, you, you you land directly into the TM Group platform, and as Dale says, all of the the information we need to to quickly order you a pack of searches um, is sent straight across. So we just click the Add Searches. Can you move the slide for me, please, Dale? There yeah. we go. Thank you. So, <clears throat> like with many search platforms, once you've added the address details in. Um, we will alert you to any recommended searches um, for that property. And you can quite clearly see at the top of the screen um, the different potential alerts, so coal, energy and infrastructure, flooding and mining. And then if that is alerted or a risk for the particular property, we will highlight that in red. So it's just advising you know, what you should really be ordering um, for the client and their property. Now, most firms will also have um, specific search packs so you could have one search pack that you use every time or you could have 10 search packs depending on the requirements and the type of caseload that you work on in this example we have a new build search pack and a customer search pack you'd also see just to the right of the screen the frequently ordered searches so again it, it's just listing what typically you might order and then should you want anything over and above um, your specified packs you can scroll down the screen and you can literally order every search under the sun. So if you click your actual pack, what that will then do is um, it will alert, it will select the products that you want to order. And if you click on your search pack, that will also show you the products within it as well. Once you click to um, move forward, the last screen is simply your invoice and all you do is click to place the order. Fortunately, you can also see on this screen the expected return date of those searches as well. So quite quickly, you can get a good understanding of when those searches will be returned. Once you click to place the order, you, get, you land straight in our in progress screen because the order is now active and it shows you the products that have been ordered, when you ordered them and when we expect each of those products back. You then click to leave the TM Group platform and you are straight back into in touch where you can see all of those lovely products that you've just ordered. I'll pass back to you now, Dale. Thanks, Rebecca. So Pleasure. essentially what this integration provides is whatever you do within TM Group platform, it will all populate back onto in touch for you. So you will now notice that our services tab has been populated with the searches that we ordered. Um, if anything hadn't come back yet or completed, you get a status update here of open, pending, and then completed. Once the matter comes back 
um, again, the fee owner will be alerted to it as well. So you don't miss it when any key information comes back. So your fee owner will get sent an email and an alert's put on the top of the matter here. And you can clearly see that the property inquiries come back here by the two alerts here. You'll also notice as well that the fees and disbursements will auto populate back for you as well. And then they will then be uh, moved over to your accounts tab. So again, you don't forget to include them in your completion statement and um, charge for them. So I've been Dale, and this has really been a very much whistle stop tour of InTouch, but I really just wanted to give you guys an overview of what InTouch can do for you guys. Um, there's lots of stuff we haven't touched upon as well, so such as our calendars, our Outlook integration, and things like that. But if you do want to know more, then please drop me an email at dale at intouch.cloud, and I'd love to give you a more personal demonstration and explain how our software can help you. Thank you, Dale. So do we have any questions or anything before we sort of sign off? I've checked the chat box and there doesn't appear to be any at the minute, but I'm sure people will have lots of questions when they start to think about things afterwards. Perfect. Well, what we'll do, we'll leave you to enjoy your day. I know you're all extremely busy, but again, if you want to contact me, I'm Dale at InTouch.cloud. And you've also got Rebecca's details as well if you've got any questions regarding the searches. But thank you very much for joining.